Welcome, Natasha Yoke, South Africa's Miss Universe representative. Does wanna look on your to hair? Thank you so much for making time for us. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Um, and I'm excited to hear Afrikaans. It's a good, it's a good sound. <laughs> yes, uh, I am going to do the rest of the interview in English for the international audience. Um, Natasha, of course. when you were placed second runner up, what was the inner dialogue? Um, did you already know that you were going to represent South Africa on an international platform? I think obviously that was the goal entering Miss South Africa was representing internationally. And it wasn't the ideal that I had in mind going into final night. Obviously I went into Miss South Africa to be Miss South Africa. It's been such a lifelong dream of mine. And I'll be honest, there was a certain point of disappointment, you know, standing there being like, you know, I wasn't the one, but I always believe in destiny. And now that I know I'm going to Miss Universe, I've always wanted to be on that stage. I always wanted to represent South Africa at Miss Universe. It's such a full circle moment for me. And we actually stood backstage, the three of us, and this was before the crowning. And we were chatting to one another saying, girls, we are going overseas. Like, this is us. We are going, each and every one of us is getting the opportunity. And at the end of it, I just... I just looked at Miss South Africa as small wins for me. It was growing emotionally. It was having the opportunity to mourn my father like I've never done before. It was growing physically, um, psychologically. And I think if you can take that small wins away, um, there was nothing to lose. I love that attitude. Now I'm going to dive in with a very difficult question. Um, despite pageants being incredibly popular, Many still equate beauty queens with being less or less able. Um, you and I know that's not true. Uh, but I was asked to ask you this question. Is the idea of women being treated as objects of beauty outdated? And what do you say to someone who says that beauty is in the eye of the beholder? 